There are so many kinds of magnesium supplements out there, but magnesium L3 and 8 can do something that none of the others can. And in 10 seconds, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Sage. It's great to be here with you. I'm here to be your source for cutting edge wellness information that can help you find answers to become happier and healthier. Please do me a favor and support us by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. It just takes a second to do and it does so much to support our tiny family business. And as you know, I'm deeply passionate about helping you along your health journey, not just with educational information, but also with some of the amazing products I've created for our company. Down in the description, you'll find a link to our website where we have the world's healthiest gourmet chocolates, delicious elixir blends, and the purest and most potent adaptogens. Now let's talk about this creation from researchers at MIT, magnesium L3 and 8. Now normal oral magnesium supplementation doesn't significantly raise brain levels of magnesium, but magnesium L3 and 8 actually is very easily able to cross the blood brain barrier. In doing so, it raises brain fluid levels of magnesium by up to 54% in animal research, which is pretty amazing. And in humans, they've actually shown that it was able to reverse measures of brain aging by nine years in only 12 weeks of supplementation, which is pretty incredible to me. And so magnesium in the body is essential for about 80% of the body's functions. And also in the brain, it's essential for protecting the functioning of synapses. Synapses are the communication connection points between your brain cells. And healthy synapses have what's called good plasticity. This is the ability to adapt and respond to changes in, in the stimuli that they're receiving. The plasticity of synapses then allows for learning and memory formation. And unfortunately, as we age, synaptic plasticity declines. Now synapses release messengers called neurotransmitters, and these go to receptors in other brain cells to stimulate them. And when it comes to learning and memory, the NMDA receptor is very important and it requires magnesium to become fully activated. So for this cell to cell communication in your brain, magnesium is incredibly important and it's also protecting synaptic plasticity. They've shown in animal studies that more magnesium in the brain leads to more synaptic plasticity and more synaptic density. So this means that you're looking at better brain performance and more learning and memory performance as well. And so in animal studies, they've actually looked at a comparison between magnesium L3 and 8, magnesium chloride and magnesium sulfate. And as you would expect, you saw way better improvements from magnesium L3 and 8. So this is an amazing form of magnesium. I personally have been taking it for many years. So if you have tried magnesium L3 and 8, please let me know down in the comments what your experience has been like, or if it's something you're just thinking about trying, let me know what is the most interesting aspect of this form of magnesium to you. And before you go, over here is a video that I think you would enjoy watching next. And over on this side is a video that the YouTube algorithm thinks you'd enjoy. And up here is a link to our website. Have an amazing day and look forward to seeing you guys all again next time.